the Almoravid Empire emerged in North Africa around 1050, led by a revolutionary Berber movement founded by Abdullah ibn Yashin al-Ghazali. Abdullah was a fundamentalist Sunni preacher who trained at a religious school in the Sahara. He began preaching among the Berber Lamatuna tribes, who had converted to Islam but lacked a deep understanding of its principles. The Almoravid movement was based on a strict interpretation of Maliki Islamic law, and new members were required to undergo FL Ogging for past sins. Infractions of Islamic law were severely punished. The movement gained strength and militancy over time, and in 1056, the Almoravids started advancing northward into Morocco, where they conquered other Berber tribes and promoted a rigorous version of Sunni Islam. After Abdullah's death, leadership passed to Yusuf ibn Tashfin and his cousin, Abu Bekr. They founded the city of Marrakesh in southern Morocco as the Almoravid capital. The Almoravids expanded eastward into Algeria and completed the conquest of Morocco by 1084. They also extended their influence into the West African Kingdom of Ghana by 1075. Meanwhile, Christian states in Iberia, under Alfonso VI of Castile's leadership, began challenging the Iberian Muslim states in the south, including Seville and Granada. The Iberian Muslims sought the Almoravid's support against the Christian forces and eventually, in 1086, Yusuf crossed the Mediterranean into Iberia and defeated Alfonso VI's army at Sagrajas. Between 1090 and 1092, Yusuf, the leader of the Almoravid Empire, established his authority over the Muslim states in southern Iberia, creating a strong defense against further Christian expansion. During this time, the Almoravids did not support secular arts like non-religious poetry and music, but they continued to promote other forms of art and architecture. However, they persecuted Christian and Jewish communities in the south, ending the previous intellectual collaboration between Iberia's Muslims, Christians, and Jews. After Yusuf's death in 1106, his successor Ali ibn Yusuf became the Almoravid Caliph. The empire was at its peak, stretching across Morocco, south to Ghana, north into Iberia, and east into Algeria. Under Ali's reign, Maliki jurists played a significant role in the government, and a strict version of Sunni Islam gained more influence. Although the Almoravids recognized the authority of the Abbasid Caliphate in Baghdad, they ruled independently and maintained generally amicable relations with the Fatimid Caliphate centered in Egypt. However, opposition to the Almoravid Empire was growing. The Amahaz, a fundamentalist Berber movement led by Muhammad ibn Tumart, disagreed with the Almoravids' religious practices and the influence of their Maliki jurists. Ibn Tumart returned to Morocco after studying in Iberia and the East, preaching his interpretation of Sunni Islam. The Amahads gained strength and became a threat to the Almoravid Empire. The decline of the Almoravids began during Ali's reign and continued under his successors. In Iberia, they faced defeats by Spanish, French, and Portuguese armies between 1138 and 1147, losing control of important cities. In Morocco, the influence of the Amahads persisted, and after the death of Ibn Tumart in 1133, his successor Abd al mumin orchestrated the final destruction of the Almoravid Empire, leading to its collapse in 1147 after the fall of Marrakesh, its capital city.